Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Creatives Ignite. I'm Diane Gibbs, and today I have my friend Chris Martin, who's here to help me out, but he also is a great thinker and a good prompter for me because I was doing this alone, and he knows it's better when I have somebody to talk to, and I don't try to do all the reading, right? Exactly. So I'm Chris, help you. Yes, Chris is here to help, but he's also a really good friend, and he challenges me. I think we text every day, just about. I think there are some Mondays that I get too busy and I can't text, Um, but he has a super cute pug and uh, I'm in love with his little dog that I haven't met yet, but yep, there you go. (laughs) Super cute. And um, his name's Mo Cosmo is the full. Oh, hey, Hannah. What I wanted to talk about, I I almost was in in tears uh, lots of times, but I usually just hunker down and nothing try not to get too um, hard on myself and um, I was talking to my cousin and I was showing her um, this painting so I'm gonna share my screen because I still am making lots of ugly things so these are all things that I don't necessarily really like I really like the middle one the best out of all of them it's weird uh, a little bit But the one on the right, which I'll get to in just a second, it's a very short deck. Here it is. So I was talking to my cousin and she's not a painter. She's not an artist, but she, um, we meet on Sundays and I sometimes show her some things that I'm working on. We do a little Bible study together. And so anyway, I am um, showing her this. This is the last one in a series of four that was pretty much the same uh, uh, composition. And I thought I would have gotten better, but I actually hate this the worst. Um, uh, It's the worst one of all of them. And I'm like, well, was I tired? I think the the shadow on the tree, it's really painful for me to even look at. And I was like, this one's terrible. And she's like, she asked this question, Chris, and everybody. And I was like, oh, and she said, why? And I honestly, I was like, I hadn't looked at it long enough. I just knew there was something so wrong with it. And I was so disappointed in myself that I was like, ooh, um, I don't know. I usually sometimes will just, I think I just go straight to the self-shaming, you know, you're terrible, blah, 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 right? Um, But for me, out of the four of them, this is probably the weakest. I was trying too many things. Maybe I was rushing. The clouds weren't aren't good. The shadow, you can see my mouse, right? Mm-hmm. So the, the shadow is bad. The, I mean, it was just yuck. Um, and so I was really disappointed in myself that in four, I had gotten better all the other three. But then when my cousin asked me, well, what's wrong with it? I realized that I hadn't spent enough time reflecting on how I could make it better. And I had done that on the others. So there was something that kind of um, hit me that maybe I had spent too much time on this composition or that I hadn't, I was really frustrated at my um, growth uh, speed, I guess, because I felt like there was speed in the others that I was growing. Um, And then I just felt like I, uh, backslid. I don't know what you call that. Backslid. Anyway, I just really felt I was frustrated and I was like, okay, I'm done with this then. And I think it was really the tree, the trees in the back, the shadow. I just, ugh, you know, it was just rough to me. And so I've, I've been working on lots of other things. And I uh, showed Amy Hassenjager and Maura and uh, John, um, Ingles this and we're in a little text chat back and forth and we just send art to each other. It's not always good art, right? Mine isn't always good art. Maybe theirs is. But I was like, oh, I did this ladies class on Skillshare. I can't remember what it is, but I'll find it and I'll put it in the in the links below. So link below, Diane. Um, and it was like a really you're doing the the moon and I like the clouds on this, but I realized that I hated um, these little tiny marks. And Amy Hassenjager was like, ooh, I really like those. And then just even saying that, 
was so great because I realized that there were lots of things I did like about this piece, but I didn't give up. Like I actually painted all the little leaves on the trees and then I had to paint over them. And then you can tell, I just kind of gave up on this, this stuff on the ground and Amy's looked so good. And I was like, yeah, I don't care. I didn't have as much fun. Like the lady on Skillshare was like, this is so relaxing, except she said it with a different accent. And, um, and I was like, this is not, this is anxiety inducing to me. So I, all these little lines, Debbie Clapper, I would be like, mm, I do not think I can do what you do. I might could try, but it would not be the same. And it is not, it was more anxiety inducing for me. And Amy Hasenjager was like, oh, I really liked this. So for me, this was a, a really good, I'm glad I finished it. I don't like the trees in the back. I think I overworked where the light was coming in, but I kind of like the mountain. I like the clouds. I like the splatter. I like the moon. The end. That's it. Half of it I like, half of it I don't. But this didn't bother me like the first one. I actually am glad I finished this. I don't want to do it again. Amy Hasenjager, you go at it. I don't want to do it. Then <laughs> this weekend, or, you know, I'm watching Skillshare every night before I go to bed. That These people are putting me to sleep. I mean, not in a bad way, in a good way. They're putting me to sleep. Um, but I watched something, and this one lady, her name's Denise Love. She has a lot of them. She's from Atlanta, so she's real. She's a great Southern accent. And if you think I sound Southern, you might have trouble understanding Denise Love, but I can watch her at 2.0. I actually think I'm watching her at 1.5. But she made amazing little abstracts. I have trouble with abstracts. Maura can do abstracts. Amy can do, ab Amy Hasenjager can do abstracts. I'm having trouble with abstracts. This to me, the one on the right, looks like some sort of body part, like a liver or something. And then if you turn it to the side, and I'm not going to do this, but can you see, you can see this is like a bulldog. Do you see this? The nose, I even put where the whiskers are, you know, and then here it could be this old woman. I don't know if this is her beard, um, but this is her like hat that's all limpy. I don't know what this is. It's some sort of tail, whatever, you know? Um, anyway, this is, um, oh, I have, just so you know, um, you spend more time on Skillshare. I pay for it. That's what Amy Lyon says. If you want two free months free, it's in the link underneath down below. I always have a link for two free months of Skillshare. I really like these. Like, well, these are the best of the two. I think I put some really ugly ones in there. This one is like, I'm just overworking. I'm literally just overworking. Um, and uh, Chris says that Adobe Creative Cloud also get two months free. But can you overwork? Well, in the computer, we can just undo, 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 or save as. So it's really, this has been big step that I'm able to actually get through this. But I can see that maybe this isn't for me. I still think I'll try um, some more. Here's some more. This one is for Cosmo. See, it's a pug. I think I've showed you this one, Chris. This is some weird thing. Um it's, uh, I don't know, uh, eyes and then a lot of teeth, I think. Um, again, it's just felt like just a big blob, uh, blob work to me. Um, but what I realized is that I'm, I'm just working in these sketchbooks, you know, uh, at night with just limited pins or whatever. And I just decided, okay, it was gray and this brown Tombow pin or yellowy brown Tombow pin. And I liked these markers. I, I liked these little things. I kind of made something else. And I just made little sketches of abstracts because I said, well, maybe I can work on this. And I think I just need to keep doing things. This is the LSU stadium. And I figured this was the parking lot because I was watching an LSU game. So I'm I'm anything I'm abstracting. You know, I'm just trying to make some things. Um, and then this one I ended up trying to make with a gouache. So I but there was something I was still kind of missing. Maybe it was the energy. But often I'm not going back and reflecting. I often don't do this in my life, I think. Um, but just as a, I think I've shared this, right? I've shared this about Flanel. I just think it's always good to laugh. But why can I laugh at myself here? But I have such trouble looking at this and just really looking at what I could improve. Anyway, 
So the end for the visual share there, but for me, um, I, I realized I was really, I, when someone doesn't come to me, if I could have helped them and it was something I did and I could have helped it fix it. I think that's when I get bothered the most. They're like either not wanting to bother me because I'm busy or they're just like, you're not the right one or whatever it is. Um, I think about with a kid, if a kid was having trouble in my class and they went to one of the other professors instead of coming to me, like that kind of hurts uh, as like, I'm the one who can, I could help you with me if, you know, if it's about discussing something or whatever. So with lots of things, it doesn't matter if it's a client thing, if it's a student in my class, or even if it's just me painting something that I don't, I'm really, I thought I would be further. I tend to just go get busy and I don't look at it. And so I feel like it's really held me back from, from growth. And I, I think that um, there are th certain things that I've gotten better at that some things I'm still working on, um, but I have gotten better. I can just sit with someone when they're crying. That's not a problem. It never, it doesn't bother me. I try to give people space to think. And sometimes with Chris Martin, he's helped me this the most. He'll be like just thinking and I want to interrupt. And I know I have plenty of times with him, but I want to interrupt, but I'm really working on just holding space because that's uncomfortable to me. Even if something's uncomfortable, it doesn't mean that it's something we need to avoid. And I feel like I've avoided uncomfortable. I mean, we all, I think we all kind of do that originally or initially, not originally. I don't know. Maybe we do it originally also. But for me, when I, I just am not going to be able to serve every single kid or I'm not going to be able to serve every single client I'm not going to be able to fix something if I said something or I did something that I wish I hadn't done. And it's I'm just going to have to sit with it sometimes. And I, I actually need to reflect. Chris is great. Chris Martin is great at reflecting. And I think one reason he, I don't think I'm great at reflecting. So when he texts me and says, how was my day? That's a way for me to a little bit think about reflecting on my day. My friend Van is amazing at reflecting and it's, I've seen that she's been able to grow. Chris has been able to grow, but I've really avoided it. But the, where it was really obvious was with this painting, the, the one with the tree is that I couldn't even look at it. I felt like I was just really quick to just put it away. And I worry that in some things in my business, I've just been like quick to just put it away instead of really trying to hey, maybe you need to think about this differently. Like you need to spend time and work on this, Diane. I don't know if anybody thinks that as well or has trouble with that, but I I definitely um, have been there. Do you have any comments, Chris? You know me, Diane. I, I couldn't help but hear when it's business related, when it's design related, you have more of a like a distance between you and the client uh, and you also have time. So you have that 25 year career where you're able to have more of, um, I guess, distance from the beginning. Whereas now with the art, you know, it's, it's easier to judge it because you have this 25 year career and then mm -hmm. you have this brand new thing that you're doing. And you're like, why am I not as good as, as I am at this 25 year career? That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, maybe so. I, I mean, I definitely think we have time with practice, but I also feel like one of the sparks yesterday, because the thing with my cousin Stacy was a few weeks ago and I've just kind of thought about it, but the thing yesterday that sparked was really a client thing. And it was, but it's something that kind of bothers me about a kid. If a kid goes to one of my colleagues instead of coming to me, and it's sort of the same sort of thing. Well, somebody else can solve it for you, but I could have solved it. And that maybe I realized this morning that maybe they didn't feel comfortable enough to tell me, Hey, this wasn't, this isn't working. This wasn't good. Or, or the design you did is nice, 
but it's not working for us. And I guess, you know, I'm, I'm okay if it's like, I'll fix it till it works. I would rather, like, it's like you put in a toilet. You had talked about this on your podcast or a new sink or something, right? In your bathroom. You're like, not that I have, but I could do it now if you, if you had to, <clears throat> but I have put in a toilet. I mean, not alone. My husband helped me or he did it and I watched and I helped bring it inside. Whatever. I didn't do that much. I handed him things. Um, I bought the toilet. I don't know. Maybe that counts. But I know there are certain parts that I had to do. Well, now the toilet's rocking again. I, John's like, how do you sit down on the toilet, Diane? How do you keep breaking the toilet? And I'm like, I am not breaking the toilet. I am not sitting down funny on the toilet. I am just sitting down. I don't know. I keep, I think there's something with the bolt. I don't think it's me. Maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> but you put it in and you expect it to work. You expect it not to get, go back to rocking, right? So, but if I had, if I had called, if I had, maybe it was something in the bolt, I literally would call the bolt company and be like, hey, your bolt broke again. You know, I don't really think it's a user error. Unless I am using the toilet different than anybody, me and my mom, because I know she uses the toilet the same way, right? Um, that's the only one I'm for sure in here that uses the toilet the same way. I was taught by her. This is how we use the toilet. So sit down on it, right? So that's it. I I would just go to the bolt manufacturer, the whoever made the toilet and say, hey, it's doing this again. I guess that's what I'm saying I would that's what end up hurting when they, when a client, it's not working. That's not the part that hurts. I understand. Like, it's not all going to, it's not all going to work. We, I think marketing and design, it's like, oh, we just got to try something and then we got to adjust. So I'm okay with that. But it's that um, you either didn't feel comfortable enough to come to me so that I could fix it because I want to fix it. So then it makes me feel like, oh, my heart, you know, I just, I mean, I went through a bunch of things. Chris and I were, I was making dinner. I know, shocker. I was making dinner and Chris and I were texting back and forth. And I told him, I was like, and I hadn't really figured out exactly why this bothered me so much. Um, But I think it was either that, Maybe they didn't feel comfortable enough to tell me or they didn't feel comfortable enough to tell me or they didn't think I was capable enough to fix something. Um, and maybe that was it. Um, I don't I don't know. Uh, and it's not like it's the first time with a client. I mean, I but I will work with someone. I'm never like, no, my way or the highway. Right. Let me explain just a little bit. If if maybe you guys have a advice for me, um, I'd love to have it in the chat or in the comments if you're watching this or listening to this later. Situation, um, a client comes, you've done a job and um, maybe a part of the, uh, maybe it's a brochure. This wasn't what it was, but let's just say, and it doesn't fit, like it doesn't fit in their folder that they put it in, but they didn't have the folder till later or whatever, right? So, but now they need it to be adjusted. And instead of going back to me to adjust, they go to another designer instead of coming back to me. And and I guess that that was, that, that's the part I don't know. Yesterday, I'm like, well, I did the best I could on the brochure. I did everything I knew to do to make the best brochure. Had I had the folder, I could have designed the brochure differently or better to fit the folder. And or I could have designed a folder had I known you were going to be using. A, I mean, I've had that. I have some things like for clients where they had like multiple pieces and then they were all separate and then we made them a custom folder right that goes and then they hand them out but I guess it's like um I've had clients who said I've done their website and then they'll be like do you know we need somebody to do some print work and I'm like me I can do the print work right I can I can I can do the print work and um because they didn't know 
again, we should tell people what we do. We should tell people regularly what we do, even if it's just once a year. Like here are some things that I really had fun designing, you know, in your Christmas card to your clients or something or an email once a year, or once every six months. They just don't know. And so when my one client that I had designed their website asked if I knew anybody who could do the print stuff, I worked in print. That was in publication design. So it's a old love for me and I, I love doing that stuff. Um, but I guess it's the same thing here with this client, the brochure, the folder. They went somewhere else because I don't know why, but in my head, I'm very creative. I'm amazingly um, imaginative on what is happening. So, um, so I guess maybe it's, maybe it is, Maura says it's a matter of convenience. Um, It could be. Um, And sometimes it's results and sometimes it's that maybe I don't have um, what they need uh, or I'm not as good at making a folder as somebody else would be. You want to read um, Paul's for me out loud? Sure. Paul said regarding the folder issue, I think as creatives, we sometimes forget that what is important slash special slash critical to us is just an interchangeable thing for our clients. They may not give it any second thought, which hurts, but we each have our our focus. Mm, that is some good. That's really good. That's really good, Paul. I should just call you when I'm having this. I should just not have a podcast and just call Paul. That's what. I'm just playing, but I, that is good, wise advice. Thanks, Paul. I appreciate it. Um, absolutely. Amy also says, so right to Paul. Plus, plus. Um, and uh, do you want to read Faye's? Faye says, sometimes it's nothing to do with you at all. They just fancy a change. <laughs> right. That's right. She have to say that in a British accent, though, Chris. She's British. No, that that's offensive. <laughs> you can't do it in a British accent. <laughs> it is. I love talking to Fake. She, but I, you know, that's true. They could just fancy a change. Um, I guess you know when it's something that I am so proud about. I'm so proud of the folder and how the brochure works in it and how it all works together. But maybe like Paul's saying, it just didn't. It didn't work the way they wanted. So uh, when you find out that a client has an issue with the folder they go some to someone else does that change how you feel about the project because you said you're really excited about it and I wa- now, yeah now it's like is this like the shadow where all you can see now is that bad thing or and and these tiny marks and now everything's thrown out maybe maybe i you know i think about it like um you know, when you leave, maybe Chris, you don't know this, but I'm hoping people with hair can get this one. Okay. No, it's a little, I know a little, but you know, my um, husband's bald. So I like bald people. Um, So when you leave the salon and your hair looks awesome, but you cannot do it again, you're like, I'm not going to wash my hair for a couple of days. So it still looks good. And then you wash your hair and the next day, I mean, my hair is really poofy. Like it's like, whoop. And I just have so much volume that I'm sure some people would love to have that much volume. I do not. I would switch some volume for some. um, Anyway, uh, but like you love what they did and then but you can't replicate it and you will not see them again for a month. And I, you know, I've changed hairdressers but it's really a me problem right like it's a maybe i don't know how this is relating to my thing but maybe if i asked my hairdresser if i ask her name's elizabeth if i asked elizabeth how can i can you give me a hairstyle that i'll be able to do and she knows like i can get dressed and out of the house in 11 minutes And that is even letting Jackson out and giving him his vitamins. Like I take my shower at night. I am fast, people. My husband doesn't have hair and he can't do anything in 11 minutes, right? Like he's like just getting suds up in the shower. Like it takes him forever. I don't, I think that it was that I, maybe they thought, maybe it was, I'm thinking they're thinking I'm maliciously not doing something correct or right. And so that's why maybe they didn't, uh, yeah, 
Chin Close says it's just not about us. It's not about all about us as a service provider. Yeah, I think it just kind of tipped me over the edge about the 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 client thing, but then it was also like, why can't I even look at this ugly, you know, I just kept thinking about my cousin saying, why? Why don't you like it? And I just hadn't spent enough time. And I, um, I really um, lean into busyness. Like I can just, you know, grind through it or something. Yeah. I think Faye says it, uh, it's right. It's because you really care about the job and that it hurts to be rejected. Absolutely. The, the rejection part is really hard for me. I guess I just don't want anybody to think that I, um, I didn't, make it not work well on purpose. You know what I mean? Chris has a really good question in the chat. He says, I don't know if you mentioned it, but did you communicate with the client to ask what the issue was? I find that most issues stem from a lack of face-to-face discussions. Yeah, I did have a conversation um, with with the client and maybe they just didn't. um, So it was a a team of people. So say there was like an illustrator and a designer, me, the designer, and then maybe somebody else doing the packaging of the folder or whatever, like the custom part of that. And it was kind of like part of it was not my part, uh, part, but because I was art directing, maybe it was. And some of it, was like, oh, it just didn't work. Like the, you know, I guess I just felt maybe that happens with everybody, but I just felt like I should have known. Oh, right. And I know what Chris would say about shoulds. You tell them. Stop shooting on yourself. That's right. And that is not a anything we have to bleep out. It's just shoulds, right? So, yeah. I also tried something in October. I think it was the the first week of October um, and it didn't work. And I could have easily just let it go um, and just not mention it again. Uh, Mario had really, uh, after seeing me in person and seeing my, um, the, my sketchbooks and all my blobs. And he's like, you should just do a month of blobs and then post those things. I was like, okay, yeah, that's, I'm going to do that. And I recorded it. I was here at school. It's great lighting now, but when I get here, I think I recorded it after me and Faye and Andrew and Pippa had met and we meet at 6 a.m. and it's dark as night here. It's terrible lighting in the morning in this room. And I tried to record it and I had two cameras, you know, recording and it just didn't work. And and I, I just gave up. I was like, well, I don't have time to figure this out right now. You know, I was like, well, I can't do it here. I'm going to have to do it at home. And then I just had taxes since I was so late on my taxes, but I did get my taxes done. But I was like, no, I'm going to do a blob a day. So, and I think I had mentioned it in one of the, the rapid recharges that I did earlier in like in September. And so I was like, well, I'll just won't say anything. But then I just kept, again, it's being able to reflect or being having time to reflect is that I ended up uh, saying, nope, I'm going to do it. And so I got everything together. I showed Debbie the other day. I did a, um, it's in Flowdesk, which I use for my email out. It's like a trigger. So you set this up and then you tell how many days you want to wait. And then it'll send out that you can get all your emails done at once, which I love. And it for I am a planner, and so it's really nice. So I end up uh, doing this, and I'm like, okay, I haven't. I've already recorded one me drawing the blob, but I'm not obviously going to be doing that because I'll have to redo it. So I'm going to share this link so that uh, Chris doesn't have to. But if you want to sign up and get for the next thirty days, you can you can start now with me if you want. Um. I am going to do this and let me see if I can share my screen. There's really nothing really to see. I guess I could, I don't know if I have any. While you're looking, Diane, uh, Jen Close says, I think you should publish a blob journal. And uh, several people have piled on and said that they agree. And Jen Close said she would even buy it. So (laughs) there you go. Oh, that's good. Um, Well, 
Um, I, we'll have to talk, Jen, because I'm not sure a blob journal or just a blob like coloring book or blob, a blank blob book. I did. Uh, I did find one. There was one, I think the Museum of Modern Art. I think I sent one to Paul, right? Paul, do you remember? But it was really big blobs, yeah. kind of like the ugly ones I was making earlier. Faye said it would be art therapy, and Mario says, we've talked about this, triple exclamation point. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I know, I know, Mario, I know. And you guys get to hear Mario uh, for real, for real, not just in the chat next week. Uh, Mario is my guest next week. And then sandy hester we're all leading up to sandy hester my friend and i'm really excited to have not that i'm not excited to have mario or chris on with me um i am and i don't i guess i don't have there any blobs in this sketchbook i brought the wrong sketchbooks i guess anyway paul says yep but i agree it wasn't as nice as your blobs diane thanks paul and mario says we're second fiddles <laughs> maybe not maybe not um, I did when I showed Mario this, I know this, when I showed him this, he's like, yeah, it's better in person. <laughs> and I just think that is so funny. I like that girl too. This girl, these are with those chapsticky things that are like quick sticks. I don't, I guess I don't have any blobs. I thought I had some in here, um, to show, but anyway, not that y'all probably, anyway, I'll just share my screen because you'll be able to see them here. Imagine Ember. So it's like November, but imagine Ember is what I'm calling it. Anyway, so you can, um, if you go the link that I, I think I put it in the chat, that link right there, which will also be linked down below, um, is I'm going to try. I'm going to start it in probably this weekend. So you'll start seeing some posts. And obviously every little blob I don't color in. You know, like I don't see anything at some points. Um, sometimes I come back, like you'll notice the green pin is one. And then these were done in, in 22. Like, look at that super cute baby elephant. And then I don't know what this is, but I love them. This is an elephant done in, in December of 21. And then this was like 4-1 of 22. I have no idea what this is. Some weird dead bird or something. I don't know. They don't have to make sense. I don't look at these and are like, oh my gosh, I should be better at this blob thing. I actually, it's just, I see things like in a cloud. And what I love about this, and I know I've said this before, but me and Paul and Amy, um, Lynn, actually, I have a picture of the three of our things. And Amy Lynn combined three blobs and it was this lady with this hat and I was like, and she looked like she was dancing. And then me and Paul got something else. And I love that it's like we have the same stuff to start with. And I just think it would be really cool to see what everybody does. And maybe we post throughout the week and then at the end of the week, you take your one sheet and you um, you take a picture of the sheet or you do a little video of going out around and then then we're able to see and hopefully you'll tag me in it so then I can plop it all on this page and and have it. And I almost just let this go and didn't do this. But if you go down here, look, I even made like a little, I can't remember what this thing's called, a form, I think. But anyway, so do these creative calisthenics and you get over 30 because there's literally six weeks of blob sheets. And I think it's going to be fun. And I think it's going to be fun for us to share. And I just don't, for me, I just don't think that there's, there's not a lot of, uh, I didn't do it right because it's your imagination. It's just what you saw. You might not see anything. You might see something right here. And you're like, oh my gosh, why didn't she see this? I just hadn't seen anything yet in this. And that is okay too. But to me, it's really fun to see what y'all see and to see what, how I saw it and how, how we're different. And uh, Jen, an anteater. Yeah, maybe so. Jen Close, um, hopefully it's okay I'm sharing this. If not, you can be mad at me. But like, you know, sometimes we're talking about things and you're like, oh, I've got to do this. I've got to do this. And Jen's talking about other things that she needs because she's always, she's awesome. She's always trying to get better and work and me too. But then she was leaving out this awesome thing that she did. I'm like, but you do this for all your clients. Like you're just leaving out like 
the bread on the sandwich if if that's what you're if you're forgetting that you do this awesome thing and i think this exercise to me allows people to um hone in on their imagination and there's really it's really low low stakes yeah low low stakes i think so if you want um to sign up you it gets you on another little list um, and then the only thing that I will ever send on this list is anything that's like for your creative calisthenics. So exercises or something. And I don't have a huge plan for this, but for the next six, six weeks. So as soon as you sign up, you get, there's a way to download it or, and you'll also get it in an email, but then you have, you'll be reminded and you'll be sent the next week sheet, um, next one at seven days from whenever you sign up and then the next seven days so it'll be like this reminder because i need reminders if i've forgotten something um it gets it helps me get back on track there's probably like 20 on each sheet you don't have to do all 20 you don't have to do one a day you can do all of them at once you can do just seven for the week it doesn't matter it's just really a little exercise for you to do with me um and then we'll we'll see and i don't think this has to be in any specific month, but I thought it would be fun to, it's over 30, over 30. So five times 20, there's six sheets. I don't know. How do I do? How did I say five? There's six sheets, six sheets. Yeah. There's six sheets, but that's, that's total um, surprise because hopefully you'll forget by then. But anyway, that's what I'm, um, I'm excited, low commitment for sure. Um, and thanks, Jen Close. She said she's an open book. Um, so she is looking, uh, Amy Lyons says she's looking forward to doing this. This is very, very small time. I would say don't do it with a pencil unless it's like a really dark 9B, 6B pencil. Because the thing is, is you, I, I don't let my kids, when I do this in class, I don't let them use pencil because I don't want them to erase. So there's something about, I don't want them to edit. I just want them to move on. And then I've made things that are super stupid looking and I don't care. Like I turn my page, they don't all face the same way. Um, so um, anyway, the end. And um, I hope that you guys will join me in the blobs and um i just thanks for listening and thanks for the encouragement and the words of advice i guess that were came in the chat i really appreciate i appreciate those um you know it doesn't matter if you've been around for six years or 25 years there's still stuff stuff in my business that i'm not great at and i and it's okay it's absolutely okay but maybe it's not as okay if I just try to hide. And so I'm trying to be more intentional about not hiding where it feels yucky and just sitting with the yucky. And instead of just um, avoiding looking at the ugly tree that I painted, I don't want to avoid the ugly anymore. You got any comments there, Chris? Don't avoid the ugly and be kinder to yourself, Diane. Mm -hmm. You just, I think the more you can just be like, you know what? I gave it my best. And Maria has a great one. How about stop saying your stuff is quote ugly. You didn't see the early stuff, buddy, but um, yeah, <laughs> there was some, um, but yes, you're right. Um, he said, I got, yes, I did. Oh, <laughs> um, I called it uh, something earlier self something booger snot i can't remember what i called it self um, booger snot works self self booger snot mm -hmm. um it was uh i thought i wrote it self shaming amy lynn says what you said about turning the page is spot on it's okay to move on sometimes i do self deprecation we're all just giving me things now that's good but i i do think that there's some like there was a point in the summer or in um where I could look at something and be like, nah, I'm done. And I, that was like a really, I put the tape off the paper. Like I wasn't going 
to ever try to finish this one. And that was really a big step for me um, not to crumple it up and throw it away. And I, I see this with my students a lot um, or just, you know, students will fall into tears or would they'll, um, they just can't and they just totally change another direction. And I've done this with clients too, but sometimes it's worth just sitting in it and working out what's going on in that, um, with that logo or whatever. Cause I think you can actually revive something or you can get better. You're just changing it. It doesn't have to change the concept completely. I just need to take some of my own advice and I need to not, um, Chris Daniel said, uh, maybe just have a conversation with them. Um, I think maybe it's a, a worth a second conversation. Um, just because I, I want people to know that I want to help them and I want to fix anything. Um, uh, just because I, I want, I don't want anybody to have a bad, but again, you're going to have some people that don't like you and you're going to have some people that, um, that just, uh, and that's okay too. Like that's just part of it. It's just part of the people pleasing in me that I, I like to make people like me, not, you know, avoid me. So anyway, thanks for listening. Sorry it was so long. At least it was shorter than an hour. Mom, you will be proud of me. Anyway, Chris, thank you for doing this with me. Thank you for doing the chat. You're welcome. He has it muted the whole time, so he has to like pause to unmute. So it's okay. I I appreciate. I don't want you to hear my breathing. <laughs> <laughs> do you breathe like your pug? Apparently, I do. <laughs> I didn't hear you breathing, um, but I have an ear disease, so I'm okay. But anyway, so I am I am excited to keep keep painting, to keep looking at the yucky ones. Is yucky okay, Chris? Absolutely. So. In this, I just think that it is important for hopefully you guys will realize that nobody has it all together. We still fall on our bike sometimes, you know, we get bloody, um, even if we've been riding our bike for a long time. So hopefully um, you'll be w willing to do the blobs with me and willing to share because it makes it makes it more fun if other people are doing it with me and these are all new blobs so if you've done some of my blob sheets in the past you haven't done these because i made these special just for this but you I, this is really low stakes so hopefully everybody will use a pen or a marker or whatever not a sharpie maybe debbie 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 likes her sharpies it's pretty Sharp thin awesome. i mean it could be a real thin paper it might bleed into something else you know i mean i don't know what kind of paper you're going to print it out on you could do it on your ipad too just so you know it's a okay you tie you try it. debbie's going to try it with a fine tip sharpie she really is committed to the sharpie brand anybody know anybody at sharpie debbie could do some murals for sharpie that would be super cool okay i'll see you guys next week see you with mario another person that is balding or bald it, shaves his head, right? You have more hair than Mario, but you know that. Yeah. Um, anyway, not that anything's wrong with that, Mario. You know, we love you. Um, <laughs> so I will see you guys next week. And thanks for looking at my stuff. The end. Oops, I got to hit stop. <laughs>